Hey travelers, we're outside because that's where it's safe, in theory. Obviously, you're not as pale as some of us because the sun is as deadly as anything. Thank you, Troy. <laughs> Just remember, put sunscreen on. <laughs> the sun is still a monster. The sun is still dangerous. <laughs> when that sucker burns up, though, look out. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. When he goes Nova, I believe yeah. is the term. Yeah. We actually have a crowd today, too, off in the back. They're here for ambiance. Yeah, they're here to make well, it's the a backyard garden party. look prettier. We're in the middle of a garden party. We are. Yeah. yeah. Speaking of garden party, hmm. that was a song from the 60s. Didn't know. Yeah. yeah. Now you know. <laughs> Who sang it, Troy? Not a clue in the world. <laughs> Simon and Garfunkel. No, you're wrong. If you know the singer... We're going to start doing party. music trivia on Comment tiered. below. Yeah. yeah. yeah we'll have music trivia. <laughs> oh, you know what? I tell you what. You tell me the singer of Garden Party, I'll send you a hot passport for Wisconsin. The first is, yeah. I've heard of the band Savage you, Garden. You, yeah, Savage Garden. They were a band. That was a 90s thing, wasn't You're it? You're right. Yeah. Very good. Couldn't name the song, but. Well, they had more than one. Yeah. <laughs> Shows what I know. I know, right? <laughs> so anyway. We're not here to talk about music so much as we are to drink beer, and we're together again, so it's it's kind of nice. So we got some fun summer beers, and then we got yeah. a celebratory beer. Yeah, yeah. So we we'll do with the one that we got poured. Yeah, uh, it's it's called Peach Beerlini. It's from Left Hand Brewing Company. Left Hand yeah. is from Longmont, Colorado. Colorado. I believe. Yeah. yeah. Look at that shit. Um. So this is just like a, a easy drinking ale. Yep. With a lot of peach puree, and it's not really a style specific. I'd say fruit generic fruit beer label would probably be put on it. Well, and you, you know, I think it's, and maybe not a lot of people realize this, but actually, peaches. There's a lot of peaches that come out of Colorado. Ooh, that really? Yeah. Huh. Believe it or not, that's actually really tasty. So Troy, what is a rattler? Uh, uh, a rattler. One of Troy's favorite styles of beer. No, it's a German style. Well, little did you know, it's a yeah. German style. So there was a, a the story I heard at least, and like I've always said in every episode, there's always a, for every beer style, there's three origin stories. So right. I actually just slam them together and make up uh, the most like consistent story I've heard. Yep. And that is, there was a bike race, and Germany German feller was running out of beer, so he started mixing his beer with like uh, fruit juices and sodas like Fanta, because that's a thing in Europe, not in the United States. No one offer. You can get Fanta here. Yeah, but no one's going to offer you a Fanta. No, you know? no. You get offered Fantas in Europe. That's weird. <clears throat> yeah. like, you want a Fanta? I'm like, what? Am I poor? Like, come on. <laughs> I'm not a peasant. <laughs> get out of here. Anyways, uh, so that he started mixing it with whatever soda he had, and people just liked it so much. And I believe Rattler is somehow a play on the like, road or tire name from Germany. Okay. German. Sure. So it's uh, it's just a German beer mixed with uh, some kind of like soda. lemonade or soda or something yep. like that. And then you can you know you can start splitting here is like what's the difference between a rattler and a shandy? A shandy's just lemonade. A rattler is anything but lemons. But if it's like a grapefruit lemonade, is it a shandy? Is it a rattler? Who knows? Who cares? Except when you're lying in Kugels, everything is a yeah, everything's, is, a everything's a shandy. Yeah, I mean like it's kind of inter interusable right. terminology. I don't right. know if we have to get too. We have to. It's not like hot dish versus casserole. It's not that dramatic. You know? <laughs> I mean, we could we could do a whole episode on hot dish versus I actually casserole. Think I came up with a compromise on that. Did you? If it's cold casserole, if it's hot, it's a hot dish. Really? Yeah. I still don't agree with that, but that's that's better. That's a compromise. I mean, I'm I'm in the I'm in the game of not compromising too much, especially when it comes to that. But <laughs> wow, I thought I I thought I had a home run here. I mean, way to way to hot try dish for life. Yeah, cas- casserole for Unless life. Unless it's cold, and then you can call it a casserole. I love. That. I love I love a I love a great hot dish to put my casserole see, in. We we can use less words when describing the meal. <laughs> if it's cold, you can say casserole, and everyone be like, "Oh, that means it's cold." You don't have to be like, "Oh, it's a it's a hot dish, but cold." Do you know? You know, I think we could go on forever about this. I put too much thought into it. And the and the peach the peach berlini is not high enough in alcohol content for me to. Yeah, it's 4.1. To... It tastes like peach. Yeah. You know what? I actually you know now that we live in the time where every brewery is rushing to make a hard seltzer, this is like. What breweries used to make for refreshing beers as opposed to just flavored water? I think this is what we should go back to. Yeah, I'm actually a yeah. team going back to... Beerlinis. Yeah. You can make all the peach beerlinis you want. If, I mean, seltzer, if you, seltzer on the other hand, i uh not a fan. They're fine. Yeah, <laughs> they're, they're what, they whatever. They taste like water because they are. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. This, uh, 
I would say like I'm not tart at all. No, yeah, no, no, no. Very no. smooth. Very, very, just refreshing. I'm actually. I mean, it's hot here in the in Wisconsin right now. Yeah, believe it or not. Yeah, it's it's, it's gonna it's gonna get to almost ninety this next week. If so you watch the show, you you hear a lot of us complaining about the cold, and then like, and then we complain hear, about the heat. Once you're like, by the way, it's hot out. Yep. Yeah. Today, hot. <laughs> Still hot. Ugh. That big that big fireball in the sky sure makes it pretty dang hot. <laughs> why, why aren't we up to our neck in the snow? I don't yeah, know. I don't know. Well, I'll give it a week. Anyway, I picked up a new one today because since we were doing summer beers and it's so dang hot. Uh, yeah, but give it a week and it'll be even hotter. <laughs> uh, I saw that Surly put out a new one. Seasonal. Yeah, and the eighties can really grab my attention. So I'm I'm a I'm a Big believer, and if you make a pretty can and it draws my attention, I'll probably buy it. I'm going to go ahead and rename this beer from just the Stunner to the Col- Stone Cold Stunner. Because, let's be honest, uh, passing on Stone Cold Stunners and chugging beer are almost anonymous activities. Yeah. Yeah. You know, so. Stone Cold did make a beer. Yeah, it's Broken Skull. We actually carry it at work. Do you? Yeah. Well, well, I should bring some of that. Oh, well, El Segundo is the name of the brewery. Which okay. Sounds like a Latin name for a penis. Yeah. Yeah. El yeah. Segundo. El Segundo. <laughs> <laughs> well, so this is a tropical ale. It's very, very floral nose. Yeah. That's, a lot a, of, that's an absolutely lovely nose. Yeah. I wish they made candles that smell like that. Yeah. yeah and when it, and I, when it says. This one smells when it, like when it, lavender. I'm when like, when I didn't realize it, we're in a brothel. Yeah. yeah. Right. <laughs> it says tropical. Beer. This smells very tropical. Yeah. So, you know, this one gets its tropical flavors or its fruit flavors from the hops as opposed to the, the peach yeah. in the beer. So, it's yeah. kind of a different approach to a similar idea right. of a very citrusy beer. And it's somewhere in that they're kind of just they're beers. You know, they're not really style specific except of fruit. It'd be interesting to see what this is labeled as technically like on untapped or something. Yeah, just as ale. Yeah. I don't know. I looked it up. It doesn't really they, say a lot to me. They didn't give me a whole lot of indication on the website either. So. All right. Well, everything that it says on the can is accurate. But if given a choice of a beer having fruit in it to achieve fruity flavors or using hops to choose, uh, achieve fruity flavors, right. I will always go with hops. Yeah. To get that just because, I mean, it's more of a beer to me that way. Right. So that being said, I like this a lot. Yeah. It's good. <laughs> Landon has a phone, guys. Futurama was going off in my pocket. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> and this episode got cut. No, it was only it was basically a half a second. Yeah, yeah. And this is the the surly seasonal right now, and like surly just keeps making fun beers. Like they'll have a year or two where they don't necessarily hit the mark, but yep. I mean, look at their lineup right now; it's pretty solid. And this is a yeah. I got I got to admit, I've since we did that episode at the Pablo with Jeremy, I've the, uh, everything that we tried from surly there. Oh yeah, I was. And Furious is still one of my favorite uh, pizza beers. Yeah, I feel like I feel like angry beers pair well with pizza. Yeah, so like Stone Arrogant Bastard, or I guess Early Furious, or sure. great beers. Sure, go with because pizza is ultimately a happy thing. Yeah, it's a carbs marinara and cheese. <laughs> <laughs> more carbs with your carbs. Yeah. yeah, I always like to put Parmesan cheese on my pizza. I'm like, you know what this cheese needs? More cheese. More cheese. Well, that's just wel- the Wisconsin. In welcome me. to Wisconsin. <laughs> yeah, I'll have some beer with my beer. <laughs> some cheese with my cheese. <laughs> You get a you get a a side of beer with your Bloody Mary. Yeah. Um. Difference between an APA and an IPA, American in case you couldn't versus, hear. American Alex Pale Ale versus IPA. Ooh. I would say probably <laughs> your level of IBUs. The IBU level on this, according to the Surly website, is low. So. What does that mean exactly? Yeah. It's low. Well, for so, who? Let's get a little bit more technical here. You know, when you're, yeah, when you're yeah. brewing beer and you're using hops. Now, people always assume hops equal bitterness, yep. which is often true when you boil, because a traditional way of making beer is you boil with those hops, and that boils those alpha acids into making uh, bitter flavors. Yep. However, if you dry hop with a beer, so the beer has been brewed, it's been boiled, you've already done your bittering addition, and then you put it in a t- tank to to hang out for a couple weeks, and you throw hops into that tank, dry hopping. You can get a ton of flavor and aroma without any more bitterness because you don't have that boil. Right. So you could probably say an APA is more dry hopping, 
less boiled, going for those less IBU levels and more aromatic flavor. So there's uh, there's your uh, hop education yeah, for the week. So probably more dry hopping and going because like this beer does have a lot of hops in it. Yeah, but just not a high IBU. So I'm assuming they're not boiling the hops in uh, in the second in the second boil. So yeah. But it is very floral. Oh, yeah. But it's it's not it's not an uppercut of of hops. You know, it's not a double IPA. It doesn't kinda. have the stringency that right. hops can get. You know, that bitterness, that aggressive flavor, those harsh flavors are all all missing. It's just this clean. But it has that classic surly taste. Yeah. You, without I, without that extra you, punch. You're better at identifying that than I am. I'm, yeah. I'm not great at it. Well, it's because surly uses a lot of the same yeast they use in English ale yeast, which I think is. Oddly surprising in America uh, for such a hot Ford brewery to be using alias that is English because I was associate English alias with like yep. very different beers than what Surly makes. Right, but I, I, we've talked about house flavor before. Yeah, yeah, and then sure. and, and in some breweries, I think it's a little more prominent than it is in others. The more the more you drink a certain beer, the more you can you can go. Oh yeah, yep. that's. And house flavors can come from breweries that like using similar malts, similar yeah. yeast, similar yep. hops. I know, I, I I know a brewery that like, loves switching up their malts for every beer, but they use the same hops. So their house flavor becomes almost a hop flavor. Right. Water, if you have a very distinct water profile, that yep. oftentimes is the case. Boom Island has a has a house flavor, and it's not it's not. I wonder necess- if the new Boom Island will. It does. Oh. Actually, new Boom Island, believe it or not, tastes pretty similar to old Boom Island. Because I've been to New Boom Island, so speaking of Belgian beers, yeah, I brought a Belgian beer. Yeah, so we're actually, for those of you at home, if you don't realize it, we actually blew way past our hundred vlog episode. Yeah, it was in because, isolation, though. Yeah, because we were in isolation. So Troy, we're gonna we're gonna keep celebrating. Now we're gonna break out the beers since we can sit in the backyard, and we can drink together while still distant. Yeah, and so, so I, I I dug into my basement of my uh, beers I was saving. This one's from 2017. Oh, it landed pronounce it when I hand it to him. Yeah. It's a it's a Cuvée beer. So K U V E E, not the C O U V E E. I'm not really sure what the difference is. I'm guessing it's a matter of oh. We are celebrating. That is. Now. Yes, now we're celebrating. Like I said, water is oftentimes the case, but I would say more than often. More than often or not, it's probably water, but we can also <laughs> – that's like, I don't care, I'm in. <laughs> uh, but, like, the brewery is somewhere uh, – likes to use the same yeast and everything, or if they like to use the same malt or the same hop. But just – that's – So yeah. it's Cuvée Van de Kaiser. So I know breweries that like to use the same, like, three hops or everything. I would say that's kind of their hop. I mean, we're going to name names here. Oh, when camera's turned off. Yeah. This is a 2017, Troy. Yeah. It's three years old. I can't even remember where and how I acquired this beer, like yeah. most things in my beer cave. This is Marty, by the way. Marty's a beer drinker. <laughs> we're not, we're not, in, yeah, but he needs water. It's hot out. He's, he's, so he's normally a stout drinker, I think. This beer was made for a king, I believe. Yeah. Yeah. Kaiser. A Kaiser. Kaiser's a king. Yeah. Yep. So. It's, it's a, got a very caramely almost nose on it. This is a very odd choice for me to yeah. do right now. Yeah. It's, this warm it's, not, it's not a summer beer. <laughs> not a summer beer at all. This would probably be a great, like, with Christmas goose type beer. Oh, yeah. This is like a, one of the 12 years of Christmas. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, they say they brewed every year on the 24th of February, which is after Christmas. On right. This King's birthday. So. Okay. But it's an Abbey Double, if you know me. That's one of probably my five favorite styles of beer. Ooh. Nice and caramely, a little toasted. I like I like a good triple, quad. Those are all good, <laughs> yeah, too. Yeah, it's you and Andy. Yeah. Yeah. This is Gudan Carolus. It's, uh, it's very foreign. You know. Belgium. Yes. It's from Belgium. Eleven percent alcohol, so we're at least in the right alcohol level. Well, it's it's about time that we have something a little more high in ABV on this show. Uh, we were starting to get normally high alcohol beers don't go with heat. Right, you're right. Yeah, they don't. It's like but, drinking whiskey out in the hot sun. But it's, we, we're breaking, <laughs> it seems like a good idea, but it's convention. 
<laughs> I refuse to be put in a box. Mm. I like the toffee notes, though. Oh, yeah, it's 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 delicious. Mm-hmm. Next week, I, I really the the next time we do this, I pray that it's not super hot out because All I I aged. still have yeah I still have barrel age that I want to pull out. All we need to do is find a 2018 Goose Island that we can do like a five year flight outside. Goose. Yeah, yeah, a and just experience. just be completely gone Maybe by the end of it. You're going because you're gonna have to like sit there for a spell. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, uh. <laughs> I just need a 2018 Goose Island Bourbon County, and we can do, I guess, at five years. If anybody's got a 2017 out there that they want to do a beer trade for, let me yeah, know. I can trade. I got stuff to trade. I can get you all kinds of brewing project. <laughs> you want some of that? <laughs> no. All right. <laughs> <laughs> you want some. <laughs> we know we know all of you guys out there just chasing hops. Yeah, well, I, some people are. It's it's not me. They're also a good sugar forward brewery. <laughs> you like Do sugar? you like sugar? Hey, yeah, I, it's <laughs> yin and yang. Every time I go into brewery uh, brewing project, I, I envision that song from the, yeah. We all seen Wreck It Ralph, right? Yeah, the Sugar Rush song. Yeah, yeah. I just assume that's playing every time I walk in. S U J R Sugar Rush. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I uh, I've envisioned that a lot too. And to be honest with you, I'm we're not really harping on them. If you like Brewing Project, get her done. Yeah, that's all the better. I'm sure I like plenty of breweries that you don't like. <laughs> so, yeah, it's a great oh, yeah. space. I mean, it's a lovely right space, now, especially when the trail is finished. They're working on the trail. Over that by bike trail, yeah, yeah that'll be when great. That underpass is done. What a what a fantastic place to go. You got Lazy Monk. You got Brewing Project. Literally spitting distance from each other. Very different breweries, very different atmospheres, both very good. It's gonna, it's it's been a it's been a complete asset to Eau Claire. Yeah, I, you they know both it's have it's great put patios. I think it's put Eau Claire on the map. Both have great patios. Yeah. Both are like I said, they you couldn't be more different than from each other than right. they are. Yeah, completely. They are opposites ends of the beer spectrum. And you know, so now that the trail is finally gonna be finished, like that's gonna be a fantastic biking. We look forward to seeing you in Eau Claire soon. You can start at one. When it's you can safe. Go do an eight mile loop and finish at the other one. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it'd be great. You get some exercise in, burn some of that alcohol off. Be great. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, and right by the river. And then you yeah. can float afterwards. Yeah, you can have a float. But wear a jacket, though, especially if you're drinking. Beer gardens this summer. Uh, yeah, actually, They're open what, what I've seen, what I'm seeing in the cities, too. Uh, and, and without going into the unrest and everything that's going on there, we pray for them and hope that clears up soon. Um, before all that started, they, they were, a lot of them didn't have patio space. Oh yeah. So they were using parking lots. Oh yeah. And, uh, the Good. cities, the cities were allowing them to use their parking lots as patio space. For uh, social and, distancing. Yeah. For social distancing, which, which I think those of us here, um, you know, I can only think of maybe two that might have to do that, but uh, they have little patios too. So, um, modicum and oh yeah, and uh, lazy monk brewing project. They yeah, they have patio space. K so, points got a patio. <clears throat> K points got a patio too. Oblivious does not. Um, Bibli's does. Oh, does it? Yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> yes, growler guys, growler guys put their patio in their parking lot. So. It's uh, it's a great space. Uh, I'm getting the the signal that we're running out of time. So before we run out of time, subscribe. To I, the yeah, make sure you subscribe. Feels make sure you back. comment. Tell your friends about us, and let us know if you actually like us. Like us sitting in the backyard. Maybe you want us to go to Troy's backyard. Oh, we could do that. Go down or to the Isthmus. Alex and Vicky's backyard. We could do that too. My backyard is the downtown Maybe you want us in the park. So I don't know. So, uh, yeah, you tell us where we do you want us to, to go in the, in the greater Eau Claire the area, and we'll make it happen. So, anyway, subscribe there. Check us out on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and all that good stuff. And, of course, we will see you next week, everybody. Until then, Prost. Hey, everybody. Thanks for watching. If you like what you saw, you can click down below where there's some more episodes for you to watch. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe on episodes that you do watch. We hope to see you next time. <laughs>